next we're going to do a two ended tie under tension using a slip knot. The slip knot is going to let you tighten your knot unlike a square knot. So let's set up just like we're doing. So I'm going to use my right hand so that's distal with the cross and we're going to just go ahead and do a two handed tie to start off with. So you pistol, you hook your barrels, you bring the hand that's going to be doing the work to the center. You make the cross with the non-dominant hand or the white strand in this case. Perfect sign. Push it through. Pass it off. Bring it back through. Grab it and lay it down. So here we go. I didn't use a surgeon's knot. I just do one throw. And now I have it down. Now, what's a slip knot? Well, a slip knot is where I'm going to do the exact same throw again. So what does that mean? So that means typically I was teaching you guys to hook with your thumb. This time we're not going to hook with your thumb. We're going to do the throw in the exact same manner. Pistol. Cross again. Now you notice this time we've got a cross here. Unlike the last time. Perfect sign. Push it through. Pinch it. Hand it off. Push it back through. And then you lay it down flat without crossing your hands. Let's do it again. Pistol. So it's basically the same thing we were doing. You notice how it's still crossed. We're doing the exact same maneuvers, but we're laying it down in the exact same manner. We're not crossing our hands. And what does this do? What it does is, as you can see, they're bunching up on each other. And if you look at this, you see how the strands are lined up in a row, the tied strands on the white, these, these purple ones, the one that you've been doing it. This is a slip knot. It's slipping down. See, as you can see, we can slip it down and tighten it onto it. So these are great, except this is gonna unravel unless we lock it. So how do we lock it? Well, then you do your, like this, then you do your opposite hand and cross over. That'll lock it. Now we're going to do a two-ended tie under tension using a slip knot to bring the strands together using silk. So here's our silk strand. We set up just like we usually do. So we're gonna have both, both strands. We're, I'm gonna use my right hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross with the strand that I'm gonna be doing the tying with, distal. Pistol grip, hook the barrels, bring it to the center, perfect sign, push it through, pinch it, bring it back, and lay it down. Now, you'll see, look at that. The tension is bringing it apart. I did not do a surgeon's knot. So how do I handle this? Well, I'm gonna do the exact same throw. So then I pistol grip, make the cross, perfect sign, and as you can see, bring it through, and as you can see here, there, there's a twist now here. I'm just gonna lay it down flat. I'm not gonna untwist it. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna create a slip knot that I can tighten as I push down. If I continue to do this, you're gonna have a slip where the knots are slipping down on the strand and the non-dominant hand, the hand that's not doing the time. This is great, but you have to lock it. You can see I'm just lining up those rows as I go. Now I have to lock it. So how do I lock it? Well then, I throw a square knot using my thumb. So here I am, I've done several of these slip knots. They're all slipping down. And now, I'm going to do what I would normally do for square knots, where I hook with my thumb, Make the cross, perfect sign, push through, hand it off, bring it over, and then bring it across. Now I've locked it. Now it's not gonna come across, come apart. And that's how you do a two-handed slip knot.